Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs. Today we are doing an upgrade on our Cody box. Yep, that time and all. To 17.1. Currently got 16.1 in there so we need to uninstall that and then upgrade it to the 17.1. There's two ways of, uh, how to do the uninstall bit on the Cody. One is you can uh, do it for the app. Go to uh, Google Play Store and uninstall it through there and you have ways for your apps which is in here so we're going to do it for the store so uh, I'm going to get out of the way so you get a better view and move the camera a bit closer and here we go and I'll talk you through it alright so we go through the store talk about the uh, sniffles got a bit of a cold so if you go here right if you do in the search bar so uh, oh by the way we're using the uh, controller that came with it yeah so if you go into the search sorry about the uh, live mouse oh uh, the large mouse thing I haven't set it all up properly because I've moved it into here right as you can see I've already typed it in there before and I've had a little practice so if you go down to Cody version 17 point or 17 Krypton not the 17.1 just do 17 Krypton click on that it will load up and if you see on the left hand side this one here it's called the Kodi XBMC Foundation it all, it's got a tick in it down the bottom right hand corner down here as you can see it means it's already installed uh, but that could it's a 16.1 install it goes in exactly the same place so on their website it actually says that um, you can install this as uh, Kodi 17.1 as a separate entity. Well, you can, but you have to put it in another folder. And on my Kodi box, as far as I know, I don't think I can create another folder. I might be able to. I haven't really looked into it. But at the moment, we're going to do the uninstall. So you've got to uninstall it. Uh, obviously, it asks you OK. So just click on OK. <coughs> That's quick and painless. Now all we're going to do is uh, install it. Uh, so basically you just download it, uh, agree to uh, the terms and conditions as usual. Click on that. And there you go. Download will take uh, maybe half a minute, maybe a minute, depending on your uh, internet connection. We're using a wireless connection. I normally use cable, but I've moved the uh, Kodi box into here just to uh, have a bit of peace and quiet. I thought I'd do it in here. So that's download, downloaded, I think. Uh, installing, see, there you go. This might take a bit of time, so um, I'll pause it here. Right, so when it's finished, all you need to do is to open them up. And it should say 17.1. Just to let you know, if you have any problem uh, installing after this, uh, any part of the uh, video, if you have any problems installing your uh, Kodi, try uninstalling it through the apps, because it might be that that's causing the problem. So right, we're on to the main screen of your Kodi now. Uh, so, oh, I don't want my mouse no more, do I? I want to go there. So you need next, you need to go into the gear thing up there. Click on that, and we want to go into uh, system settings. So go down here, click on that, and you want to scroll down to add-ons. Yeah. Now. When you get to add on, just right click and I'm doing both show notifications, you want that turned on, and unknown sources, you want that turned on as well. And it come up with a warning, just select yes. That's it, that's that bit done. We need to come out of there now and we need to go down to file manager down here and we want to add source. So, and you want to use the one on the left, not the one on the right. So add source, 
right here you have to type in some um, a website so I'll just pause it while I get the um, information yeah so all you have to do is you just when you're on this bit is just press the OK button and a keyboard will pop up so now you have to type in Right, once you typed it in, just go to the um, OK, click on OK, and it will come up again, and if it's notice, it's, oh, before I continue, make sure you type in exactly like I've done it, otherwise it will not work. Once you've done that and you've got to this bit, scroll down, you can change that to anything you like if you want. I'm going to leave it as magic because it would be easy for me to find I know what I'm looking for. So go down to the OK, click on OK. Yeah, so what, when you've done that, come back out of there. Go all the way back. Keep going back. And what you want to do now is go down to Add-ons. Click on Add-ons. And at the top left, you will add the uh, little box. So, uh, to open. To so click on that. And then you want to do install from zip file. So scroll down, install now. Now we want to go down to magic. So go down to magic. Click on that. And you want to click on that. Oops. And then well, what you want to do is highlight it. And then go on. Once it's come up like that, click on OK. And that should be done. May take a few seconds. So be patient with it again there you go Aries add-on installed then you want to go up to the next one which is install from repo whatever that is click on that and you want Aries projects go down to there click on that right and then you want to scroll down to program add-ons click on that and then Aries widders the only one now so click on that and click on install bottom right hand corner and then it will start downloading and this might take a bit of time it's quite a big file again it depends on your internet connection so uh, please be patient and when that's finished you've got your little tick go back one like so then click program add-ons again and there is wizard and if you see now it says open on the left hand side so click on open and there you go started uh, extracting the files again this will take some time it's not just a question of downloading at the moment it's a question of how fast your um, Kodi box is it's not, not going to be as fast as a computer right when you get to this stage you want to go on to browse build it's already highlighted up the top so you click on browse build and you want to scroll down to pulse click on pulse and right it's asking you to get a pin so get yourself a pen and paper in case you need to write this down or you can try and remember it, it's only in a small digit, four digit number, so click on get pin Oops. oh there you go, yeah, that's right right, my pin is 8294 this will only work on mine so hit the back button again, so 8294 uh, enter pin so we want eight two nine four like so click on done right now you've got this screen up what we want to go down to is pulse ccm krypton i suggest you use num the third one down uh, number one doesn't seem to work two i think works okay but we're going to select that one so select that install There you go. So again, this is your download. Not bad speed, I guess. Right, 
like it's just download finished. Now the extracting bit, it might pause at the very beginning. If it does, do not panic, just wait. You have to be patient. It does sometimes uh, take a long time to kick in. Mine's kicked in rather quickly, but it will take some time. So please be patient with it. And uh, it'll either start straight away, you might have to wait a few minutes. And that's it. That's installed or that's downloaded. Do you want to back up the skins? Uh, this bit here is entirely up to you. At the moment, I'm going to say no, uh, but because oh, I've never used this bit of software, um, I'm just going to say no anyway because I can always reinstall it. So I'm going to say no. Uh, thanks for using it, blah blah blah. And you want to say yes. And uh, oh, sugar, no, you want to say no. So we're going to come out that bit. I don't want to do that, it's up to you if you want to do it. I didn't read it properly. Cody needs to be closed, press OK to attempt to close it. Obviously, it's going to do a major install. I think we can come out there now, press the back button again. Unfortunately, code has stopped working, so just press OK, this is normal, and click on uh, Open, just make sure it's on the right bit. Where are we? There you go. So I'm going to open code, uh, pulse is um, correct, so if you got that, you know you're on the right track. Might go blank for a few minutes. There you go, right. And that's basically it. The next thing to remember while we're on this bit is there's been a lot of things going on in the background, like updates. Let's say one update failed, but it's got a lot to update and it might have to uh, need a restart at some point. But it's basically now. So uh, we've got the movies there so at the bottom. Oops. So you've got Exodus, which I like using. So you can click on that. Now you've got to remember it's still doing its update so it will take some time so please be patient with it. And don't expect it to run within five minutes properly because it will be a bit glitchy at the beginning. So here's all your films, uh, all your whatever you want to watch in the theatres, new movies. Like I say, it is a bit glitchy at the beginning. Right, so here's, here's your Beauty and the Beast. And that's about it really. Logan, Suicide Squad. Yeah, one more thing I would like to show you. If you're on the, um, still on the Kodi, if you scroll along to the right, or to the left, doesn't matter, go to Systems, and then scroll down one, go to Video Add-ons, like so, you might find you've got a, best, uh, a bigger choice on um, channels. It's worth having a look. It's worth exploring uh, all the... Uh, little links like that, see so you've got BBC iPlayer Exodus again so you can still go through Exodus through here and it all still works okay so you've still got your new movies so there you go so it's just something to bear in mind if you want to do it like that Alright, that's basically it. I'll uh, get back to the main page. See? These all change as well, which I think looks nice, the backgrounds. Well, I hope you liked the video, and I hope I've shown you an easy way of uh, installing Kodi. Uh, so if you have any comments, please post them below. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Thank you for watching.